promise I will never go blind like cut. Hold up. What is this? Is that bored? Blala? Yo, she kinda bad though. <sighs> she has a female body, characterized by wider hips. Literally nothing special. Just an average white woman. Yes, but average white women awaken things to me. You know, I could get used to this. I definitely could. It's no melodrama era hair though. Mmm, melodrama hair. Mmm, 19 year old lord. This look was debuted this weekend and it definitely like took some people by storm. It's new, it looks different, and it's really interesting. Um, it kind of makes me think, is there a new album on the way? No, 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 no. For most artists, yes, yes it does. A new look would mean a new era, but Lord, we're probably gonna get an email that's like, I noticed you guys were asking about new music along with the new hair. Well, I just dyed it for fun. Haha. -ha. You're gonna have to wait another half a decade first. It honestly works a lot better than I thought. I, I see Lord as a brunette, you know, full and through, but like this doesn't really, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. But didn't she make fun of brunettes that dye their hair blonde and mood ring? Like right here? Interesting. What does this mean? Also, people have been saying that she looks like Anya Taylor-Joy now. Honestly, I don't see it but if that's not any confirmation of what my type is, then I don't know what is. I really don't think that this means new music or anything, but like, I would love if just randomly it's like, hey, this is the new era. It looks good on her. This is a new series I'm gonna call Lord, Lord Update, mm, uh, Ella Exclusives. Yeah, this is the Lord Update uh, channel now. We got a new Charlie XCX tweet. Imagine if one day I actually just did sing Royals. As we know, Charlie XCX and Lord are the same person. I would love for this to happen. It would be a bit of a good meme. And following up the where does Lord go from here video, we got an email recently that was really interesting. It kind of went over the background and like aftermath of solar power. I can honestly say that it has been a year with the highest highs and the lowest lows I think I've ever experienced. It took people a while to get the album. I still get emails every day from people who are just coming around to it now. That response was really confounding at times and painful to sit with at first. I learned a ton about myself and how I'm perceived by making and releasing this album, and I feel significantly more connected and alive in the art practice and my life pretty much ever than before. I was sitting with a friend recently drinking chai on a country house in England, she's an artist too, and we got on the topic of the album somehow. She said it's clearly one of those works that gets made in between peaks, the kind that's necessary for makers sometimes, no less precious, in fact, there can't be peaks at all without such works. I needed to go low, to roll in a neon ball through tall grass and see what happened. This is interesting just to see how she feels about this album. She obviously doesn't see it as like the grandiose thing, which I don't think she does. She should. I don't think this album should be seen as the grandiose type album. I think this album will kind of have that cult following as it grows on. People will like find it kind of as a place of comfort, but it is interesting to see her response or he, her reaction to other people's reaction of the divisive album, you could say. But it's really interesting to see her look back on this album a year later, or almost a year later, um, look at the response, and she's gonna kind of learn from this. She's kind of saying that there is going to be another peak, as in like another extremely interesting, exciting album. We'll see what happens there. Um, it's all so speculative. Uh, I hope the blonde means something.